Hey guys, I'm LB, and I got a request from Aaron to play Mono Portal Number no. Two by RoboSK. Second map for Mono Portal with Portal Gun on off concept. The map is not difficult, but requires a little thought and some skill. If you do not know how the on off concept works, I recommend playing the practice map first. The system was created by Toolby. I designed the chamber and B mod 2.4, and then it was edited by Toolby in the hammer map editor, and he made some minor adjustments. Trust me that it is not easy to invent a good puzzle for this concept, but I think with every next map, I'm collecting more and more experience for furthering my work. I'll be glad for every meaningful feedback in the comments. Thanks. Have fun. This nice robot for me was made by Toolby. <laughs> ah, cute. Alright, well, let's get started, shall- Ooh, uh... I hit the wrong key there. <laughs> This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. B-Mod does this? It breaks the antlines? I didn't know that. Goodbye, YouTube. Alright, so we have our bomb cube, as is requirement. It's required by state law to have a bomb cube in a RoboSK map. Seems they're playing as Chell, or whoever this person is, I guess. Oh, maybe we wanted to put the portal there, I don't know. Let's go find out, shall we? Got some nice Harry Colligan music in the background. It seems a bit loud, though. Maybe it's always been this loud and I just don't remember. Right, right, right. I <laughs> have to wait for the cube to blow up first. There we go, that works. Close enough. Got it! There we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Why did I want that? I guess I need to launch myself across? Whee! Yeah, I suppose that works. That's a, pl a place to put an edge of the safety cube, I would assume. There's an arrow. Hmm. I don't know why, but I get the feeling... I get the feeling that I'm gonna get an edge of the safety cube if I press this button. I don't know what exactly it is that clues me into this. Or why I would ever think that I was gonna get an edge of the safety cube. But, uh... Something just... I just have this feeling, you know? Hey, an edge safety cube! Where did that come from? Right, so... Let's go ahead and put this here for now. And that activates a funnel and turns off the- what the? What kind of- is that a special fizzler? Oh, why does the fizzler look like this? What? Did I not even pay attention to the fact that it was a special fizzler? Um, that works. Oh yeah, it is a special fizzler! How could I not notice? Okay then. Lesson learned. That is a special fizzler, and it has different flanges for some reason. Yeah, those are different from these ones over here. I kinda like these ones better, almost. They're a bit lower poly, so Valve wouldn't use them of course, but I do like the way they look. Right, so we've done that. There's an arrow here... pointing at this? Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. That launches me into the funnel. What do I want the funnel for, though? Do I want the cube? I mean, the edge of the safety cube to go through that? Maybe? A 
Let's try the edge of the safety cube doing it. Maybe we have to stand on the button. Maybe we even have to roll the edge of the safety cube. I don't actually know. Now we've probably had enough time. But rolling it's more fun. There's also a regular cube up there. With a- from a button up there. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. I hear... I hear, like, a laser in the distance? Is there some outside logic that makes this work? Maybe I'm imagining it. Oh, and there's GLaDOS. But I- I kinda thought that there was some outside logic. Maybe I'm imagining it, but I could've swear... sworn. Sounds like lasers! Like the laser nodes activating. Huh. But anyway, that is interesting that even the mono portals get removed when you go through the- the fizzler there. Right, well... Might as well... Put this... Here. Eh. Nah, let's put it here instead. What's that done? Oh! I moved it over there. Okay. So I just have to do this, really? So that gets us that. Okay. Right. I have an idea, a slight idea, of what I can do. Hmm... Actually, that might not work like I'm hoping it would. Maybe I just need to get Bounce Gel instead. Let's- let's try the Bounce Gel strategy, perhaps. Ah, my. That might work. That just might work. Try it. And... Yeah, that's two blocks. That'll totally work. Excellent. We have... this. So, can we just do the same thing? Yeah. We even had enough time to do it. Okay, then. what that arrow was for. <laughs> they both ended up there. That's funny. Do I have my... Oh no, I do have my aiming reticle, it's just not when you're holding an object, apparently. Because who would need an aiming reticle to see the sensor of the screen where their object is at? Right, so that's done... What exactly? I forgot to keep track of where the exit was. Right, it's up there. How do I get up there, though? What? Oh, there's a laser now! Oh! Oh! Oh. Apparently, we need to take this and do stuff with it. Do stuff and things.
Aha, uh -huh, yes. No fiddle music, huh? Alright, that was cool, I guess. Not exactly the best use of these puzzle elements, but now, it was okay. Around, seeing Aperture restored to its former glory, you don't have to worry about leaving ever again. I mean that. Oh, don't worry, GLaDOS. I'm not leaving anytime soon. Alright, well guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!